Okay, this is my Lidl's RC glider conversion. My version of one anyway. So it's cut down tail, uh, move the rudder and attach it to, to the end. I've also used Corex 3mm for the elevons and for these wing extensions as well. The canopy unlocks, uh, some magnets glued in there and into the fuselage itself. It has a 4S 450 mAh battery, this is a high voltage one, that's overkill um, but it just fits perfectly in, inside. It has an R9mm um, modified receiver because that's what I had and it's attached to this little device here which is uh, 2040 I think it's an RP2040 uh, microcontroller based on a Raspberry Pi and this is programmed so it can send telemetry through the R9mm to monitor the battery voltage because that's all you, you kind of really need obviously two servos DIY covers just to stop the catching when you land in the grass and the other thing I've done with this is to make these wings detachable if you pull right there, they'll actually come away and will actually unplug completely to make it very portable. So the locking mechanism is from a, a ID badge, so the quick release plastic little tiny clips, if you pull it, it just comes away, embedded into the wing. Uh, I've run some spars through, these are carbon fibre, so these are, so I think they're three in there. Now yeah, four mil. Okay, so four mil carbon fiber, carbon carbon fiber spars through the wings, and then just held in place by the clip. So if it crashes, you can it'll kind of unclip itself. And if you want to transport it, it's quite easy to to put in a small bag. Just clips in place like that. How I did the spars was I used this little homemade device, which is a jig. So I had to cut the wing in half, put the wing in the center heat up a bar like this and carefully push it into the wing like that so through these holes like that, and then push it all the way through so we see one for left one for right so I got to the end and then because of the heat off that that would expand the hole big enough that's 1.3 mil so it's used for DIY servo arms and I'll expand it up enough just to get it just under the 4 mil of the carbon fiber and then you'd use uh, a drill bit, a long drill bit, to just widen it a little bit and then push the, the carbon spars in. Then they're so tight they're not actually glued in place, they don't really need to be glued in place and it just gives it um, rigidity and it holds everything together. So yeah, all up flying weight is 246 grams, so that's battery included, so under 250 grams. So yeah, it's kind of, uh, CG is between say 38 and 32 roughly on the wing there and with the battery and everything included, it just sits nicely. It may need a slight more nose weight in it. So yeah, that's my, that's my version, long time coming, of a Lidl's glider conversion. Thanks for watching.